about the kettle reboiler which is very famous because of its shape and this is nothing more than a reboiler which is designed to create more vapor and to recycle liquid typically used in condensation columns or distillation columns sorry and let me show you how it works now we got this tube right here which is the heating fluid so you have the fluid goes here goes through the tube and goes out most likely at lower temperature if not as a condensate also this can be steam condenses and goes out as liquid or this can be a very high temperature fluid whatever you choose it goes here it goes back remember that all this heats the outside fluid now let's talk about the outside fluid we have this section right here in which the liquid is present right here it goes down it has the opportunity to go here and it achieves a certain level this is the wear which is essentially a let's say a wall which separates the vapor now we should have a retention time in order to ensure that the time required for evaporation is given so many vapor will be formed and the vapor will be going through this tube or pipe right here goes back to the distillation column and will eventually go down if you condense it it condenses and you repeat if it evaporates then you're done now remember guys that this continuous state therefore some liquid will be going out 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 in this specific case we are going to have a bottom product and a distillation product now remember that if you are this operation is actually a mass transfer operation but if you were interested in only evaporating substances you will be taking out this vapor as a product and this liquid or bottom product will be recycled in order to ensure that all the liquid is being evaporated now this is one tube or this is very simply uh, showing how it goes but actually you can have plenty of tubes this is even a shell and tube size the only thing that changes is the shell type which is the kettle reboiler shell but as you can see the important part is to have a liquid level this goes out as a product this is rich if you're talking about concentration this is rich in concentration the paper is also let's say lower in concentration and it recycles 